Hi, my name is Manoj Krishna. I want to tell you the story of this patient of mine called Lindsay, who presented after a road traffic accident with really normal looking MRI scans. So we first tried some lumbar facet injections, which only provided short term relief. We then did a test called a discogram, where we put a needle in the L5S1 disc space and found it was painful. And we followed it up with surgery, and she did really well. Here she is in her own words. Morning, Lindsay. Morning. Um, how old are you, Lindsay? I'm 38. Okay. So, Lindsay, tell me a story about uh, your back problem, how it started and how it progressed. Um, Sunday afternoon, I nipped down to the local supermarket. Um, and as I was leaving the car park, somebody drove into the, the back of my vehicle. At first, I felt fine, um, but it was quite evident within a couple of hours that my back started to give me a lot of pain. When was this now? Uh, May 2010. Okay. Um, so, nearly three years since the accident. Um, I started having back pain, went to see the GP, prescribed painkillers, didn't work, as it gradually got worse, was, um, recommended physiotherapy, that didn't work, and was uh, sent to see yourself. And we tried um, some injections, I yes, think? Yes, facet joint injections. And did they help for a short period? A little while, yes. Yeah. Uh, and by this time, I think you were, were you working or were you off work as I well? I was off work. What sort of work do you do? Um, auditing. auditing, so a lot of travelling around in the car. So in total, how much time did you have off work prior mm. to the surgery? Nearly two years. Gosh, and then there was a legal... Probably a full year and a half. Year, year and a half, and there was also a legal claim pending. Yes. I think one of the dilemmas we had was that your MRI looked normal in yes. effect. And... Uh, so we did a discogram where we found out that your bottommost disc was painful yeah. and then we operated and we did a PLIF uh, about a year ago now. Yes. Okay. So talk us through um, your experience of you know, surgery and, and your progression after that, please. Um, at first it was quite painful, um, but within a few days it seemed to ease off a little bit. And then once the staples came out, that was the best part. Okay. Um, it was a lot easier to move around then. Um, Gradually came off the painkillers that I was taking. So within I think about three months, I'd gone from thirty painkillers down to nothing. So you were on thirty painkillers a day. A day, down to nothing. And then gradually built up my exercises, um, and I've managed to lose just over three stone. So That's much. remarkable. So how have you managed to lose that uh, three stone in weight? Um, exercising, just what make sure I eat a balanced diet, um, not eating as much fried food and chips and comfort food I think mm. um, and then just exercising walking swimming visiting the gym and you're back at work now no I was made redundant okay so unfortunately just okay. as I got fit okay yeah. and um, uh, pain wise you've got very little pain little now pain. no pain and no painkillers no painkillers and I think the legal case is settling too um, we're still in the process of dealing with that okay so hopefully it's going to settle soon, I think. It should be getting yeah, sorted soon. now that you're better. Um, were you anxious before surgery? A little bit. The unknown, not knowing what to expect and how it might be afterwards. But uh, went in with a positive attitude in that hopefully this will sort it out and yes. get me back to fitness. And your mood has improved as well. Talk yeah. us through that. What uh, was it that got you down? And Just the fact that I couldn't do anything. Um, um, my niece wanted me to go swimming with her and do play in the garden, tennis. Couldn't do it. I was in so much pain. Mm. Um, and then obviously since then, since I've been able to get back and do such things, I'm losing the weight. It's just made it just feel just feeling myself a lot better. Yeah, and your mood's back to normal. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.